Okay, so listen. How many of you have done uh, the first line? Okay. You've done this. What about to this? Did you do the word problem in number four? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we we'll check. What about the third line? All right, that's good. Okay, so but I'm not going to assume. So we'll check our answers together now. Let's see. One F. What did you get? One F. T greater than three. One L. Greater than equal to. Five point. Five point two five. Two A. Less or equal to eight. Less than or equal to. All right. What about number four? Two e. Oh, yeah, there are two of them. Two e. Two e, yes. X is less than nine. If you didn't get that, please signify. If you got that, signify, please. So then that is not the final result. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still going to check anyway. So the inequality gives you x less than 9. Yeah. Then what is the uh, exact answer? 7. seven. Why 7? Why not 8? Because that's not a prime. So there are conditions. Apart from x less than 9, x must be a prime. So it has to be 7. Okay? And the question says largest. Why do you think you need the word largest? Because it's smaller. So it's I can't hear. x less than 9, you pick 7. The, in the instruction, why do you think they need to put the word largest in the instruction? Because the smallest small I can be there. Because? You can go as small as you want. You can go as small as you want. No, no, because it says positive. That's, it's because you can go as small as you want. Uh, but it's in that line. All right? Because you can still have smaller ones. You can go for five, you can go for three, you can go for two. But for those less than nine, seven is the largest. So that's why you're picking seven. Okay? Okay, what's the next one? Three C. Three C, what did we get? What does 3C say anyway? 3C is a square number. Okay, it has to be a square number and 2x minus 11 greater than or equal to 19. What do you get for the inequality solution? What do you get? X is bigger than or equal to 15. And if x is a square number, what is the smallest one? As x is equal to 16. So there are two things. 2x minus 11 bigger than or equal to 19. I call it greater than or equal to. So you do 2x greater than or equal to 19 plus 11, right? 2x greater than or equal to 30, you divide by 2. And because 2 is positive, you do not reverse the sign. x is greater than or equal to 15. And because x has to be a square number, x must be equal to 16. Because 16 is the least greater than 15. Least means the smallest. All right? So if you have not shown a detailed solution like this, uh, your solution may not be acceptable to me in the exam or even when you write your ADCSA. You can't just think about it and write, oh, the answer is 16. How did you get it? If you don't prove yourself, you can't. Um... Anyways, so 3C is gone. Uh, which one again? Number four. So what is inequality from that word problem? The question is, Ahmed went down, went to town with twenty dollars to buy two CDs. His bus fare was three dollars. The CD, the CDs, which means they are not the same, right? But we are they are of the same price. When he reached home, he still had some money in his pocket, right? What was the most each CD would have cost? So what did, what's, what did you get? 2x plus 3 is less than 20. 2x yeah. plus 3 is less than 20. It's less than 20. Or equal to? No, less than. Less than? Yeah. Yes, you tell me why. Less than, less than what? 20. Oh. 
20. Who agrees with that? Okay. So what does X mean? So if X is the price of CD, then 2CD is that added to the transport money, it's and it left home with 20, it still has some money. But so what does this mean? Melody. Can you explain? Did you do it? Yeah, but I'm not sure. You're not sure. Did you get this? I didn't do that. Did you form an equation uh, inequality like this? Now without this, you, your solution would not be acceptable. Who formed the question as uh, inequality like this? Okay. Who doesn't understand how this came about? Now this is exactly what I want. All right. So this is the price of two CDs. This is the transport money. I left home with $20. I bought two CDs. We don't know how much each is. So each CD will be X. This is the price of buying two CDs will be 2X. I have to add that to my transport money. So this is like a budget. Budget is what you spend, right? Or what you can spend from. My budget must be less than 20 if I need to have some money with me when I get home. Unlike when you put less than or equal to, it means I'm likely not to have anything left. What does that mean? It means everything here can be exactly how much I left home with. I left home with 20, I bought two CDs, and I, my transport money was three. If I add my transport money with the cost of CD, is it up to 20? No. Is it less than 20 because I still have some extra money with me when I got home? So that's the meaning of the less than, so not equal to. And so this is the simple inequality. Sherry, does that make sense now? Again, this is the price of CD. This is for the bus. Okay, look at it this way. Each CD is seven dollars. Seven times two is fourteen. Transport money is three. I get seventeen. Do I still have money when I get home? Yes. yes. Why? Because everything I spend is still below how much I took from home. Do you understand? I still have money because everything I spend is still less than twenty. That's why I have some extra with me. So that's the meaning of this. Okay. All right. Um, so you solve this, you get 2x less than 17, right? When you put 20 minus 3 on the other side. Then you get x is less than 17 divided by 2. So x is 17 less than 8.5. So it says how much a CD would have cost. Right? So what is that? You could just say a CD costs less than 8.5. That's all you have to put. A CD costs less than 8.5. So a CD could be 8.49. Nobody cares. As long as it's less than 8.5. Because if it is 8.49, it means I have like two cents to take home. It says some money. Nothing, nobody specified. As long as I get some coins, right? Yeah. So all you have to do, don't put a value like x is equal to 8 points something, no. Just say a CD costs less than 8.5. Okay? Any questions? <clears throat> the next one is question 7F. I think that's easy. You open the bracket, right? Mm -hmm. You open the bracket, you get 8x minus 2. The other side will be 3x plus 12. So what did you get eventually? X is what? Less than or equal to? Less than or equal to what's the final result? What is it? 14 divided by 5. Did everybody get that? Yeah. Isn't that like 2.8? Yeah. Uh, if the decimal is non terminating, I would suggest you do that in fraction. But if the decimal is terminating like 0.25, 0.75, I think both are acceptable. Definitely, if you are dealing with money, you don't want to tell me five or number, one over four dollars. Like, that doesn't make sense. Okay? If you are dealing with money, you want to leave it in decimal. 
most especially in two decimal places. Okay? In Macau, we don't have two decimal places, do we? No. no. But most of these exams are not Macau exams. So you have to leave it in two decimal places. But we have two decimal places. Yeah. The yeah. smallest coin is a so ten cents. Like one second. That's, that's not two decimal. So ten cents, look at it, point ten. Isn't that like one? Yeah. No, the zero is... Look at it this way. What are the coins we have in Macau? Ten cents. Uh -huh. Twenty cents. Uh -huh. <laughs> Twenty cents. So wait. Does everybody get what I mean? So if, I, if, if I'm giving you an internal exam, for example, and it's Macau dollar, you have yeah. to leave it in one decimal. Uh, is that okay? Yeah. If you leave it as point two zero, it's fine. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to correct that impression that. The shop size is two decimal. The shop size is two decimal. What do you mean the shop size? It's like you buy an orange in the supermarket. So like $2.50. Yeah. So wait, so they, have you ever bought anything 5.35? No, they say like 8.99. Okay, well, 8.99, like this? We don't buy 99 cents. That's like in the US. That's like in the US, that's my point. Anyway, so when you buy something in Macau, it's not a decimal. Yeah, it's a decimal. It's a decimal. Yeah, 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 yeah, that's normal. Like this is money. I said yeah. money. Because money is a real... Okay, look at it. Before the test, I told you your results must be in three significant figure. If the question is about number of people, do you do three significant figure? You just make sure it's a whole number, right? So there are special cases. Okay? You are dealing with money to the small places. You are dealing with angle... The instruction in IGCS is one decimal place. Okay. You are dealing with number of people, of course, you know it's a whole number. Does that make also sense? Also positive. Or pos and positive also. But in general, if it is not special case, it is three significant figures if you are dealing with decimals. That's what I meant. I'm not saying in all categories. All right, quickly, guys, please, there's no time. If the question is not necessary, if it's just a talk, please, can we just keep it for next time? Any other thing? All right, thank you. Is it a question, sir? Yes. Yes, what is it? Is a quarter like 0.25? That is not a question. It is, it is. That's not a question for you. That shouldn't be a question from you. No, I'm saying Point. So? <laughs> Wait, no, no. So a penny is one or is it ten? I don't know, actually. A penny, a penny is, is what? Zero point zero one. A penny she should know. A she is the British one among us. No, a penny, that's American. That's American? Oh, yeah, she is the American among us. Oh, yeah, these guys pounds. Uh, pounds and pens, then you guys penny. Uh, Talk to the Americans. Can we just speak in R&B and Macau for the class and all Congress? Guys, no time, please. Thank you. When you guys are done, let me know. Thank you. So the next question is 8F. What do we get for 8F? Now, I'm particularly interested in that because of this step number two that I wrote here. We need to be very careful when dealing with fractions. Mm -hmm. Try as much as possible to avoid cross multiplication, and I'll show you why. Everybody, please, can I have your attention? So we have x divided by 2 less than 5, for example. When dealing with equations, we have learned something like this. If you have a divided by minus 3 is equal to 5, maybe over 2, we cross multiply, right? What do we get? 2a, 2A equals, negative 15. equals negative 15. Now this is this method. Maybe, since Sonia decided to do 
a over minus 3, 5 over 2. And Sonia, can you stop? Thank you. And Sonia decides to do negative 15 is equal to 2a. Please, if anyone in unintentionally or intentionally just waste our time for irrelevant stuff, I ask you to leave the class. Thank you. If Sonia does this, is Sonia right or wrong? Right. Right. It's right. It's no big deal. So, can you decide to start from here? So, so now decide to start from here. Everyone is happy. Everyone is correct. You can only do this in equation. You can't try that in inequality. Some people are comfortable multiplying first like this. Some people are comfortable multiplying first like this and cross multiply. It's going to be a problem in inequality problems. So we get this, for example. I decide to do, because I follow Candy's method, I decide to do x is less than 10, because I follow Candy's method. Okay? Someone follows Sonia's method and starts from here and put 10 less than x. That's not possible. x can't be less than 10, and 10 is less than x, and you think both of them are accurate. No. You know the first one is correct because of obvious reasons. But what if I'm used to this and I made a mistake to do this? So this is why I'll encourage you to avoid cross-multiply if you are not used to the right approach. And to some of you, what is even the right approach? How do I know this is the right approach? Just multiply by the LCM. LCM of 2 and 1 is 2, so you multiply this by 2, you multiply this by 2. Just like the algebraic fraction, do you remember that? Equation with fraction. So you can do that. That's better. Okay? So in, if that is not the way you have done the fractional questions, please take note of this. This is especially useful if you have something like this, x over 2 plus x over 3 is equal to, oh no, greater than or equal to maybe 2 over 5, for example. You can't even cross multiply at this point. So the best thing is, check the LCM. What is the LCM? 6. Again, what is the LCM? Six. Six. LCM of five is also six. Oh. Oh. Is this why you did you did the way you did in the algebra <coughs> test? You guys need to do a lot of practice. Seriously, you are better than what you are giving me. Seriously. Anyways, so you multiply by thirty. So all you have to do is thirty. Thirty like that. You do thirty times the last one, and all the fractions are clear. Then you have a normal inequality that you are used to. Does that make sense? Okay. So, when you do that to, uh, to the F question in uh, number 8, so pretend you are multiplying by 5. The 5 on the first one disappears, right? So you have your 5y plus 3 less than or equal to 10. Is that what you got? Talk to me, everyone. I'm talking about 8f. When you clear the fraction, did you get 5y plus 3 less than or equal to 10? Yeah. 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 All right. Then you solve that. Okay. So quickly now, we have three minutes. The next one is 9a. 2n plus 3 less than 12. What do you get as n first? n less than what? n less than 4.5. So what is the largest value? 4. 4. Because n has to be an integer. What is an integer? The whole number with no decimal. Good. What about 9e? Bigger or equal to? Why? Wow, that's less than. Yeah, that's less than. That's less than or equal to? But you have to flip the. Yeah. Why do you flip it? Or you can just be, you can just be like five point four is less than or equal to. No, 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 no. I'm trying to confuse someone, and I'm <laughs> winning already, and you're just <laughs> trying to save her from my confusion. How <laughs> dare you? Not my fault. <laughs> All right. So what's the question again? Give me the question Three again. Three n plus fourteen. Three n plus fourteen. Less than or equal to. 8n minus 13. 8n minus 13, like that. So if you do the needful, 3n minus 8n, right? Yes. Yeah. Less than or equal to negative 13, negative 14, right? Yes. Yeah. So you get minus 5n less than or equal to negative 27. Yeah. Then you divide by what? Negative 5. Negative 5. And remember, we said it yesterday. You have to flip it when you divide by negative 5. So you divide by negative 5, any negative number, of course. N will now be greater than or equal to 5 point what? 4. 4. 4. 
That is why the question talks about smallest. Because there are lots of numbers more than that. What is the first number greater than 5.4? The first integer is what? Six. Six. Seven is also one of them. Eight is one of them. Nine is one of them. That's why the instruction is telling you the smallest, which means the first one, the closest to this one. Okay? And finally, just a few more seconds. Question 12a, what do you get for that? Did you flip it? Joe, you should look at it now. 12a, did you flip 12a? No. You have to? Yeah. Aren't you supposed to divide? Yeah. Well, I did it the other way. What other way? I just put uh, 20. Wait, the question is what? 20 minus 2x. Uh huh. Less than or equal to like this? Yeah. So which other way? You can do x. Put this here? Yeah. Okay. So less than or equal to 2x. 20 minus 5. 15. Less than or equal to 2x. So what do you get? x is... 7.5. Less than or equal to x. So what do you get? Is that the last step? Yeah. No? I won't accept this 15 minutes. Okay. X has to go for X has to be here. No, I switched. I switched. Yes. I switched. So if 7.5 is less than x, what does that mean? X is greater than or equal to 7.5. Yeah, we can do that for the other one also, right? Which is the same thing. Do you understand? Yeah. If you have done it, negative 2x less than or equal to negative 15. By the time you divide by negative 2, you should have gotten it again. So it's the same thing. So make sure your x is always on the left. Isn't there a question that talks about number line? Do you guys remember how to draw number line? Do you remember number line? No. Oh, yeah. So we will draw number line, so it will start from 7.5. So this could be 8. Because it's greater, if it is greater or equal to the shape. Do you remember this? Yes. So that's number line. Barely. Barely? Yes. Uh oh. Alright, so I'll remind you tomorrow with maybe a few try questions like this. So please uh, attempt other questions open that page. Uh, look at number five especially. When we come tomorrow, I will give you something like this. We call it combined, uh, combining inequalities. I'll give you something like this. This you do not need. I'm still talking, please. This you do not need until form five or six, or maybe form four. You don't need it now, but I'll just show you how to interpret it. So, but you don't need to worry yourself about it. But this you need to learn how to. Okay? See you next time. Thank you.